After a business owner was shot by police, the man is now firing back with a lawsuit. He says he was shot while police were investigating a robbery at his store. CBS 4 Shari Williams joins us now from Coral Gables. And Shari, it's been a tough month for this man and his family. To say the least, after talking to Mr. Rodriguez, he says his life is nothing like what it was before February 14th. He's gone through a number of surgeries and has lost a lot of his independence. He does have uh, has his fiance and also a small son to help him go through this very tough time. But today, he officially filed a legal claim right here at this law office against the Miami-Dade Police Department. I don't know if it was the will of God. It wasn't my time. <laughs> Somehow, some way, I made it to the hospital, alert the whole way. And the wonderful surgeons and doctors at Rider Trauma kept me alive. It's a painful story to relive, but Jose Rodriguez is glad to be alive to tell it. He was shot four times by a Miami Dade police officer. He was wounded in his buttocks, legs, and abdomen. Uh, four shots hit this man. He never got any warning, no statement like police. Freeze, stop, drop the gun, none of this. It happened February 14th at his electronics store. The alarm went off after three people broke in. Rodriguez went to check it out and claims when police arrived, they shot him and not the suspects. I mean, when you tell the alarm company to, to send the police, you send them for safety. So if there is something going on, that they take care of it, not you. Rodriguez has had a number of surgeries. They even had to remove six and a half feet of his intestines and several bones. He's now in the long healing process. With his fiance and young son at his side, Rodriguez, a former Marine, says the shooting nearly killed him and he has now lost his independence. She has to dress me, wash me. I can't even go, go back to work and fix my store. She, thank God that my wife, my fiance works. <laughs> my father's been able to also help us out with the bills. A very tough story to listen to. Meanwhile, the Miami Dade Police Department has a different version. They say Rodriguez came to the electronics store waving a gun at them. Uh, meanwhile, the police officer who is named in this lawsuit is back on duty. There are also several surveillance tapes from the surrounding businesses that caught a lot of this on tape, but the Miami-Dade Police Department is holding on to those tapes and not releasing them. And as of today, the Miami-Dade Police Department says they have no comment on this lawsuit. We're live in Coral Gables. Shari Williams, CBS 4 News.